You go to Cambodia for what? Study Cambodian. What? It's easy to learn Cambodian from anywhere. You just go to the website kummerlessons.com and choose a tutor. That's it. Really? What's that easy? Yes, of course. I'm learning Cambodian with them too. Can I cancel the flight? Hello guys, welcome back to learn Cambodian with my channel and I'm Dara from the Khmer lesson but uh, sorry today my voice is not really good because just have a cold uh, but I hope everyone can hear me clearly now okay but, but uh, today I have a new lesson for you and in this lesson everyone will learn four words in Khmer but that those words uh, sound very very similar and I think like most students, they know only one of them is Pon Man, right? But, and uh, in this video, you are going to learn four words. Number one, Pon Man. Ba, pon man. Uh, number two, Pon Na. Ba, don't be confused, na? not Pon Man, but I say it, Pon Na. Ba. And uh, number three, you say Pon No. Ba, pon no. And the last one, we say Pon Nang. Ba, pon nang. So all of these words start with the word pon 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 pon, but uh, but but the meaning are different. But so don't be confused. Okay, ta. So if you would like to know the meaning of these words in Khmer language, okay, let's go to the lesson together. Okay, so right now we can start. But uh, number one, how much? How many ba in Khmer that everyone know already? We say pon man, okay? Pon man. Number two, when you use how plus adjective, it means when you make a question with how, but after how is adjective. And then in this case, in Khmer, a question word of how we use pon na ba. And number three, just or only ba, we say pon no. But, but not not in the question you see number one number two i have question mark but number three and number four not a question but not a question but so number three just and only we say pon no. but, pon no. and number four this much that much that like that but and in my you say pon nang. But, pon nang. So, right now we start from number one but number one is how much or how many. But uh, we say pon man. Eh? Pon man. But uh, most students know already. But pon man. And now let's see example. Uh, how much is the price? But how much is the price? And then in Khmer, you always ask. Uh, actually, you just use only how much that you always ask. As a uh, man, right? Pon man, but but in this sentence, I use the word price, and then you can add uh, uh, the word dom lai. But actually, for the word price, you can say dom lai or thai. The same, right? you can use both. So uh, in this sentence, you can say thai pon man, dom lai pon man, or pon man. But to ask about price, you have many options to to uh, to ask. Okay. But the another one. Uh, how many kids do you have? But how many kids do you have? Ne mean con pon man. But ne mean con pon man. But con is kid ne? or child. In Khmer, you say con. But and then in Khmer, we say you have kid how many? You have kid how many? Ne mean con pon man. Okay. But Another example, you ask like, how many hours do you work a day? But how many hours do you work a day? Mỗi ngày nè thư ca bọn màn máu. Mỗi ngày nè thư ca bọn màn máu. But mỗi ngày is per day or a day. But I use at the front. But a day. Uh, thư ca is to work, you know already, to work. And pon man mao is 
how many hours uh, don't be confused don't say mount for man if you say mount for man the meaning is what time but a lot of students still get uh, like still confused with this for man mount is how many hours mount for man is what time uh, but so don't, don't be confused but, uh, now i read this sentence for you one more time Mỗi ngày nè phơ ca bọn màn máu Và Và so you see this is how to use bọn màn as a question for how much and how many Và Ok ta uh, Let's see another one Is bọn nà Và bọn nà As I told you at the beginning when you make a question with how uh, For how uh, we have like a, a, a different type of a question word in Khmer but this one just focus on how plus adjective ba. so when you make a question with how plus adjective a question word of how in Khmer we use pon na pon na ba. most of them they get confused when uh, they heard pon na they think of pon man but actually it's different na? different pon man is how much how many pon na is for how in uh, in this case ba. plus adjective now let's see example. How expensive is your car? Ba. How expensive is your car? So you see, uh, I underline expensive. The word expensive it means adjective. But its part of speech is adjective. Expensive. How expensive is your car? And then in Khmer you say, La ne thay pon na. La ne thay pon na Ba so expensive is thay Ba and lan is car So car your expensive how Ba in my structure we say like this Ta one more time La ne thay pon na Ok ba. Another example How big is your garden? How big is your garden? Ba. The word garden in Khmer we say Sun Chba. Ba. Sun Chba. And then this sentence in Khmer you say Sun Chba Nè Thum Pon Nè. Sun Chba Nè Thum Pon Nè. Ba. So Thum is a word big. Nè. Ba. Ba. So this is how to use the word Pon Nè. In, in Cambodian language ba. so when you make a question with how plus adjective ba, use pon na okay? ba. next one is pon no ba. pon no uh, pon no you can use with the word just or only actually in Khmer besides uh, the word pon no for just and only you can use with tai and te ba. But uh, because this sentence, uh, this lesson, we just focus on pon man, pon, uh, pon man, pon no, pon na, pon nang. So, okay, I use only pon no for just and only. Ba. Ta. Now, example. Uh, I only have $10. Ba. I only have $10. In English structure, you say I only. Ba. You use only after subject. But in Khmer, we say, I have $10 only. But in Khmer, we use this structure instead. I have $10 only. But, and then in Khmer, you say, Khnyom min dop de la pon no. Khnyom min dop de la pon no. So, uh, uh, dop de la is $10. But, and then in Khmer, we pronounce de la. But, de la. But, Okay, next one. I will stay here only two days. I will stay here only two days. And in Khmer, we say, I will stay here two days only. But I will stay here two days only. Khnyom nang snak nau ti ni pi thngay pon no. Khnyom nang Snack no tini pi thngay pon no. Ba, you see? Ba. So, uh, snack no is the word to, to stay. Ba. To stay in Khmer, you say snack no. Ba, snack no. And tini is here. 
bà tì nì. Pì ngay is two days. Pì ngay two days bà ta. Now, uh, I read this sentence again. Nhóm nâng snack nâu tì nì pì ngay bòn nò bà. Bà, so you see, this is how to use bòn nò for only or just bà easy. You just use at the end of the sentence. Nè, bà. Ta, now let's see the last one is bòn nâng. Bà, bòn, bòn nâng. Uh, but now we have like uh, many words in English like this much, that much, that, like that. But so it's hard to uh, to use a specific word for for pronoun. But uh, now let's see example. For example, you say that's enough. But that's enough. Okay. For example, you go to the restaurant and then you say uh, 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 that's enough. But that's enough. And then in Thai, just say. Pon nắng bàn hai Ba Pon nắng bàn hai That's enough yeah. Ba Ba And another one uh, You say oh, Just like that Ba Just like that And then you say Tai pon nắng Tai pon nắng Just like that Tai pon nắng Ba Khe Ba This just a short phrase And another one You say I know that much. Ba, I know that much. Khnom dang pon nang. Ba, khnom dang pon nang. Ba, so dang is a word to know, nè. Ba, so I mean I know only this. Ba, I know only this. And then you say khnom dang pon nang. Ba, khnom dang pon nang. Okay. Ba, so this is how to use pon nang, nè. Ba, in Cambodian language. Ba, for that much, this much, that or like that, you use like this, nè. Ba. But that's all for this lesson and uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, I hope everyone enjoyed this and I hope this lesson is useful for everyone uh, to use this word in my language. Nah? But, so as usual, if you have any question or uh, any uh, idea or still not clear with any point from the lesson, just let me know in the comment section and I will try to answer your, your question. But, Okay, again, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.